With Black Ops 6 introducing Omni Movement, there's so much more to break down. I got 10 tips to help you go from bot to pro, and the last one might surprise you. Number one, let's talk about the most important thing, Omni Movement. This basically means that you can go in any direction, front, back, sideways, but the best part about this, you can use this while sliding and diving as well. So you can slide backwards, slide sideways, and of course, slide forward. So there are many ways to abuse this, and we're going to talk about it as we go more in depth into the video. But just to get a quick understanding, you can basically slide sideways, slide backwards, and you have to make sure you go full tack sprint. This is a thing people forget. You want to get that full tactical sprint before you do anything, because that's where you get the full momentum. So I'm going to walk backwards for a second, then slide sideways, then slide, walk sideways, then slide. And you're going to notice after a second, your gun goes from kind of going slow walk to like running walk. And then that's when you want to use the mechanic. And of course, you can dive backward like this, dive sideways. And this is going to be very beneficial because there's going to be times where, you know, you're going to want to slide sideways and challenge or dive sideways across and challenge, and it's going to come and hit. Oh, like that. Tip two. Let's talk about a really cool mechanic that you can do in this game that some people know about and some people don't. So if you were to slide and continue to hold your drop shot or your slide button, you essentially go into a prone mode. Now, why is this very good? This is basically a one movement mechanic where you're sliding and almost instantly drop shotting or laying down and you want to sprint you want to hold and then slide and then this also puts you in this laid down position that you can do sideways you kind of look in behind you in front of you and it's really cool because you also look funny on the floor but it's an advantage because people don't expect you to do that so essentially you want to sprint hold slide and then you're going to go to the floor and then you just get up instantly and you can just keep moving you see how fast this is and this movement will catch a lot of people off guard. So make sure to implement this into your gameplay. And then, of course, the slide, jump, slide, jump, or slide, sprint forward. You're basically going to cancel it at the end. Slide, slide, prone forward. You got to use it the right time, right? But you will catch people off guard. Tip number three. Now, a lot of you guys know this. Some of you may not. You automatically have a pistol in Black Ops 6. And all you have to do is hold your melee button, whatever that may be, and it's going to come out. Now, why is it beneficial to use this sometimes? you basically get unlimited tax sprint. So you get to run very far distances and it's obviously going to help you get to places quicker. And this is definitely important at the start of game. For example, on a hard point, if you're trying to get to a certain spot quickly, you're trying to beat your opponent. Let's say it's the top middle here. Switch your gun, take them out or even in search and destroy, you know, search and destroy right off the rip. There are rounds. You want to get to a certain spot or rush draw very quickly off spawn. Let's say you spawn here. You're going to want to pull your knife out and go. And that way you get there quicker and you can beat your opponent to the power spot and take them out. Slide cancel. Now slide cancel, obviously a big thing in previous Call of Duties, and you can still do it in this game. It is still one of the best mechanics to engage in gunfights, and you probably should be doing it all the time, especially with sliding being very, very good at this game. The slide cancel, for the people that may not know, you simply sprint forward, get that tactical sprint so you get the full momentum. You're going to want to slide and then just move forward afterwards. In this game, you can just simply move forward at the end of the slide, but then you get long slides. There's no way to cancel it in the middle, really. If you want to kind of cancel it in the middle and not have those long slides as much, you can simply just slide and press jump how you used to do it in previous CODs. So you slide, jump, slide, jump, slide, jump, and you get that quicker slide and cancel it. So there's two ways to do it, but one basically requires a long slide. And if you just press jump in the, and whenever time you want, you will basically cancel a slide and it's different for everybody whatever the jump button is a slide jump will basically cancel it just like that and like i said it's going to be the number one way you want to engage in gunfights just like that and it's going to catch people off guard with how fast the slide is jesus tip number five let's talk about something all the pro players do it's called shouldering but we're going to add a little spice to it with the omni movement mechanic so if you did not know what shouldering is, basically you're peeking around a corner very quickly with a, and you're able to get away with your life because you can peek backwards. So this is a good thing to gain information, especially at a high level or a pro level. If you were to do something like this and peek wide, you just die, right? So you don't, you just give a little quick shimmies as they call it. So this is really good to do in search and destroy. Maybe if you're trying to gain information on a lane and you don't want to die. Like I said, all the pro players do it and use it and you should too. But how do we add Omni movement to it? So obviously you can slide sideways, which is a good way to do it. Slide like this. But the thing about sliding is sometimes it isn't too fast. 
you overslide here, you know, you might get picked just sliding. So another good way to do this, and you may have seen people like Shotzi or some other pros do it, you're going to want to dive. And the dive is a lot quicker. So when you dive across, you get to play your life, you get to gain information, and you know, maybe you might even get some lucky shots in and stay alive. So with this game, Black Ops 6, make sure to implement diving and sliding and aka just omni movement into your shouldering information tip number six let's talk about something new they implemented in black ops 6 it's called the corner slice so basically you probably have noticed by now when you get close to a wall your gun kind of gets angled right kind of gives you like this little peak that you didn't have in previous cods and you can definitely kind of hold this it, even if you're not close to the wall you can kind of see that even if i back up a little bit i still maintain it which is pretty cool and a cool tip for you to know because you do not always have to be on the wall and certain spots will give you that as well so this is really good to use because in cod there's something called like the peaker's advantage and usually if i'm coming from this right angle and the enemy is holding the left angle i will have usually the advantage over him because my gun is sticking on the right and he's coming from the left so basically i will kind of be able to see him a little bit more than he will be able to see me so this little peak and this little corner slice thing is very, very good and can be used in very good spots. For example, it doesn't work as well if I'm left, right? So I'm like slightly overexposed here. And if someone was right here, they can probably see my foot without me even seeing me or without I even seeing them. So make sure to have the corner slice setting on and definitely use this to your advantage. Next, let's talk about one of the biggest things, the Omni movement, tip number seven. And I explained earlier in the video that we'll go more in depth with some of the Omni movement stuff as we have so far. So... It's going to be centering with Omni Movement. Now, something that's so special and great about Omni Movement and in this game of Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is the fact that you can center while sliding always. Now, in the previous CODs, you know, usually if you wanted to, let's say, for example, slide around this corner, you kind of had to do this, right? You have to slide forward and then turn, right? You kind of have to hit that little, mm, that little whip, that little, mm, you know what I'm saying? And that... Had, that basically had to make you, you know, recenter your complete aim because you will look forward and then you got to recenter to the right. But with Omni movement, that's no longer a thing. Like you can still do that sometimes, but you can always be centered. So if I'm in this situation, what am I going to do, right? If I want to slide cancel this, instead of me doing this, what you can still do sometimes, it's not like it's a bad thing. You're going to want to slide sideways and center in the middle. So if I were to do this with the Omni movement, let me just take this guy out real quick. Obviously, I'm going to be like this, staring at the wall, and I'm going to do this. And you see how I'm already, already centered with the Omni movement, like just like that. It's just pure. It's just fast. It's on point. I'm not, you know, I'm not having to go forward, then recenter to the side. And you can apply this anywhere just like this. You see? And this is, this is a big part of mastering Omni movement and mastering the movement. Is when you're using Omni movement and you're using the movement to your advantage, you're going to want to like slide sideways and kind of center as you're sliding. You're going to constantly want to be centering. You do not have to always slide forward or always do kind of the slide. Well, you know, what I'm saying the, the how you call that the whip slide, you know, like this. You can now actually use the Omni movement to your advantage and always be centered on your opponent. And if you do not know what important centering is, it's basically giving the first shot. And also just hitting your shots, which is going to basically equal to you any more gunfight. This is going to be a little bit muscle memory, but when I tell you this is going to be a game changer for a lot of people and it's going to make you better, trust me, it will. And this obviously can apply to diving as well. Diving is a little bit harder to do it because of the setting and how you, it depends how your settings are, but sliding is going to be one of the best ways. Tip number eight, let's talk about the movement around the map. So usually when you're playing this game, you know, you're going to watch some pro players play, how they maneuver around the map. What are they doing right? And there's a few things and a few tricks you can be doing. So I think the biggest thing, and in, it, obviously on the certain maps, there's a lot of ramps, there's a lot of staircases, there's a lot of places you can be doing this, is you're going to want to slide down almost every staircase. So it's a lot faster than me doing this. You know, that took, let's say, two seconds versus me doing this. So it basically cuts the time in half. So you're going to see a lot of pros always sliding down stairs, staircases, because it's so much quicker. But the pro about this is it's also a camera. So if I just do this on someone and I see the, like I'm going to challenge there and I kind of just do this on them, it's going to be so hard for them to react because of how fast that movement is. And the, the probability of me winning the gunfight is also higher. But in general, I'm just talking about maneuvering on the, around the map. You're going to want to slide down staircases. 
sometimes it can even be more beneficial to dive over a staircase because it can also be quicker so let's say depending on the map not necessarily here instead of just sliding down you can dive off it just like this and look how far you know how far you get also just like previous cards you can dive off railings like that or ledges and it basically kind of stops your dive and basically resets your attack sprint so if you can time that right that's more of an advanced movement you're going to be dropping down at a quicker pace and still have a lot of attack sprint and then you can just challenge this guy also something else to know in this game there are some zip lines and they are very fast so don't be afraid to taking these things you can juke people out just doing like basically just doing this challenge this guy come back down kill this guy zip back up you know it's very fast tip number nine we're gonna be talking about a very important setting go to controller movement slide dive behavior make sure it's on hybrid now this is basically me tap the slide and tap the dive now this does take a little bit getting used to and the diving aspect can be a little tricky at times but trust me for someone who felt very uncomfortable at first i got used to it pretty quickly you just gotta really be on top of it you gotta tell yourself you know not to dive not to slide if you're diving too much be like okay let me be you know softer on the stick but you start to get used to it and definitely there's times where you don't want to dive you know to maybe dodge a nade or you know to like i said before like to kind of peek across and you know not get picked so i'll do something like this you know and get away just because a slide tends to take a slightly longer than a dive at certain times so i really do recommend this hybrid setting and it's going to be a game changer and especially with omni movement you just want to have this on and tip number 10 this is going to be more in depth with some other settings that i really want to help you have insane movement and when i tell you this these settings and having the right settings for movement is one of the most important things and that's why i left this tip for last so for your dead zone inputs you may be seen shotzi or some other pros i've been personally playing with this like this for years this is going to help have your left stick aka your movement stick be super reactive you're going to be able to move quicker slide cancel quicker you're going to have less dead slides so left stick minimum on zero or one you can put it one it's almost the same thing zero or one your left stick max i would recommend somewhere between let's say 65 to 75. i wouldn't put any higher than that once you get a little too low your controller starts to bug a little bit so you got to be careful i would really recommend between 65 to 75. this right here alone will make your movement feel way better but there's obviously some more important things tactical sprint assist is basically like auto attack sprint you're going to want to make sure you have this on want to make sure your sprint assist delays on zero sprints assist sideways and backwards on it's going to help with the omni movement slide canceling backwards sideways all that important stuff uh these things off off on obviously i told you hybrid air automatic airborne mantle on sprint restore on and slide maintain sprint is on these two make sure they're on it's going to help you again with the slide canceling with the fluid movement and one more important thing you need to put on make sure your tactical sprint activations on tactical or single tap sprint i've messed with the other ones and for some reason it almost messes around with your with your other settings and it's going to make your slide or just your movement feel clunky i just gave you all the sauce you needed in black ops 6 in terms of movement it is a lot to kind of understand and practice but just watch the video watch it again if you need to i hope this video really helps and makes your movement better and i'm telling you right now if you do all these things your movement will be like shotsies as i always say hope you guys have a great day thank you so much for watching and make sure to drop a like comment and subscribe peace